Hi, welcome to Canada. Unaffordable housing is right this way. Hello, welcome to Canada. Inflation's at an all-time high. Yeah, shawarma plates are like 20 bucks. Yeah, I know, yeah. Hello, welcome to Canada. Average cost of a two-bedroom apartment is 2,700. <laughs> Nothing's available, good luck. Yeah, keep going. Hello, welcome to Canada. Our news is censored now. No one really understands fully what that means. It all happened really quick. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Canada. Oh, refugee, yeah. Here's your blanket and Walmart gift card. Thanks, have a good one. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Canada. Oh, you're Canadian. Welcome back. Things feel different now. You'll see. What can I do for you today, Brian? I got this wicked rash. You wanna check it out? No, thanks, I'm good. Here, try this. What is this? It's one of them Hydro creams. You don't wanna look at this first? Try the cream, if it doesn't work, come on back, okay? What if I wanna to go to a dermatologist? Then you're gonna need a referral from your doctor. I don't have a doctor. Well, you have to get one then. How do I get one? I don't know. There's not that many. Can you refer me to the dermatologist? No, why not? Cause then I gotta fill out a form, send it off, I'll get one back, it's annoying. You are a doctor though, right? Yeah, and this is a doctor's office. It's a walk-in clinic. Try the cream, if it doesn't work, come on back, okay? It's kind of a headache to come back here. You got headaches? Here, try this. What's this? I don't know, we done? I got another question. Look, we're really busy. You get one question per visit. It's important. Ah, okay, what is it? I think I might've broke my ankle. Why do you say that? I don't know, it just hurts a lot. Looks fine, it's pretty crunchy. Crunchy? Kinda hurts down here a bit too. Okay, here, rub some of this on there. Still bothering you in a few weeks. Make an appointment, come on back, okay? We need more condos in the city. How about we destroy a heritage building and put up a 50-story glass structure with some tacky modern art out front? What about that old neighborhood charm? Ah, we put a bubble tea in a shopper's drug mart on the ground floor. That'll do it. There will be a lot more traffic, so we could charge $30 for parking and put bike lanes out front so nobody can stop. Violent homeless guys scaring the residents. And elevators always out of service, so people have to wait an hour to get anywhere. The lobby. Jammed with Uber Eats guys. Drug dealers, prostitutes, yappy dogs. Thousands of Amazon packages overwhelming the security desk. Speaking of security guards, I'm thinking physically present, but mostly useless. Sandbags. Fob access everywhere, and we'll charge them 200 bucks to replace it. We should give fobs to some of the homeless guys. How do you think we should design the units? 250 square feet of unusable living space, Cement pillar in the middle. Price point? 5,000 a month. Hmm, seems like a lot. So we put a sliding door in a closet called a two bedroom. You're a genius. We need to expand the TTC. How about we use an enormous amount of taxpayers' dollars on never ending construction projects? I'm thinking entire city blocks closed off for years. While construction companies skim off the top. And small businesses are decimated. Perfect. We should double down on what the people already love about the TTC. Non-stop transit delays every time you gotta go somewhere. Shuttle buses filled with sticky BO. Crackheads smoking actual crack. Aggressive homeless guys wandering up and down the trains. People love the element of fear and danger when riding public transit. I know I do. Should we still have overpaid fare collectors doing nothing at all? You mean like sleeping, not giving change, or reporting violent crimes? Those are the ones. Oh, you know what we really need? What's that? More elevated streetcar tracks that block the flow of traffic. Can we make the benches in the streetcar like weird and pointed at each other so you gotta awkwardly look at some guy the whole time? Of course. What do we do when people start complaining about all this stuff? Tell them we're underfunded. You're a genius. Thank you for holding. We appreciate your patience. Just kidding. We are currently experiencing a normal amount of calls and are purposely understaffed to prevent our customers from reaching a representative in hopes that you grow tired of our bullshit and just give up. This way you can't change or cancel your plan and we can continue to overcharge you for phone and internet services. We do not respect you and consider you a total tool. That's why you're still on the line. You think you'll be able to negotiate an incredible deal by asking to speak to a manager. Just give up and accept that you're a turd. A big old stinky turd. Feel free to log in online to view one of our many crummy service packages that gouge your wallet and confuse your little turd mind with technical jargon that makes no sense at all. You and your business are completely meaningless to us because you're a turd. You're so damn stupid and you're such a turd. Yo shorty, let me get a crooner, a chocolate danish, and mmm. Hey yo fam, hurry up. 
Yo, chill, fam. Who you telling the chill, fam? Yo, you want some? Yo, I'll box you right here, dog. Get back, fam. Wanna bring that on me, eh? Cheese! Help me! Help me, fam! Six balls! Yo, oh, I'm bleeding. Mine's came out victorious, still. Let me get a mochaccino and a fruit explosion muffin, eh? Anything else? You still got them Justin Bieber donuts? Tim Geeps? All right, what do you want? I lost my wallet. I need some new ID. Driver's license, health card. All right, can I see some identification, please? I don't have any. That's why I need new ones. Well, you're gonna need ID if you want IDs. I need ID to get ID? Yeah, you need ID to get ID. Isn't this a catch-22? <laughs> Can't you just search my name? You should have my photo. But I still need to prove it's you. But you can see my face. A lot of people look alike these days, okay? Look at that guy. It looks just like you. Oh my God. Carl. Carl! How about a birth certificate? I don't even know. Could be in your parents' basement, in a big box with the uh, old crusty masking tape says baby stuff on it. Hey, isn't it weird that you need a document to prove you're born when I'm standing right in front of you? What kind of drugs are you on? I don't know. All right, fill out these forms, bring them back here, and we'll get you some new IDs in three to 78 months. 78 months? That's how long it takes the government to do stuff. Uh, nice to see everybody, wow. How long has it been? Five years? I've been in Indonesia, just unplugged. Yeah, no cell phone, no computer. What's been going- Oh my god! They're everywhere! They're stabbing everybody. Have we tried giving them safe injection sites? Oh, they do more drugs, that's- Have we tried letting them ride the subway for free? The stabbings and the drugs, yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> free housing, how about we give them- Right, because of the drugs, they don't want to go there, yes! What if we let them sleep in the parks? We give them a- Oh yeah, because of the drugs, the stabbing, the needles. What could we do? What could we do? Uh... Let's change their name from homeless to unhoused. Oh. We can't actually remove them from the streets because that would be rude. We have to allow them to be mentally insane stabbing people. That's part of their human rights. How about we let them roam around yelling at people, being aggressive? I mean, the problem should fix itself eventually, I think. <laughs> I'm Justin Trudeau, and this is our updated National Anthem. Oh, Canada, our home stolen from native land. True LGBTQ2S plus love, in all our sons those days command. With glowing BIPOC pride, we see they them rise. The true north strong and free from misogynistic tendencies from far and wide, neurologically diverse and gay. We stand on guard for they them the answer. God of love would keep our land. Glorious and free from microaggressions and ableist bias. Oh, Canada, we stand if you're able to on guard for they them the answer. Oh, Canada, we should know it's a privilege we stand if you're able to on guard 